you guys, welcome to Gavi Gaming TV. Today we are doing the unboxing of an Xbox 360 controller. This is from the uh, Xbox Design Labs that has recently started up in the UK. So, as you see here, really, really nice Xbox designed uh, box. wireless controller so I do need to get an adapter for this actually at the minute uh, well I do have a cable which I'll probably use it for to start with but uh, I really like the boxing so let's uh, knock this open shall we and here you have my Xbox designed controller um, for like flat, the boxing is actually quite nice, it does elevate it towards you a little bit. And if you put the box really flat, it is really, really cool looking. So, uh, really quick delivery, I ordered this like four days ago. It only took about four or five days to get to me. I think, well, I ordered it on a Friday and it arrived on a Wednesday, so it was really, really fast delivery, which is cool. And uh, so I'll take the controller out. There's not really a lot in the box, just your controller and some uh, Duracell batteries. As you say, you're not in yet. But let's move the box out of the way and take a closer look at the controller. So, as you see here, here's all the usual buttons, and they're all color configured to my likings and my specifications. So, you can. Uh, Color the D-pad, the sticks, the options buttons there. You can color the uh, the back end basically of the X, Y, B, A buttons. Uh, you can have them the normal colors of Xbox, or you can have the, um, the black and white like I have, uh, with a couple of other options maybe the other way around as well, white and black. Uh, I also have the triggers and bumpers colored white and then the back is red you can also actually have rubber grips on these which at the minute are free to add they weren't when I was doing it unfortunately um, as the laser etching was free at one point but whenever I got around to doing it uh, that wasn't free but as you may see I do have Gary Gaming TV etched into this um, which is a really nice personal touch uh, as this will be for my uh, PC hence why this will be um, colour scheme this way to go with the setup of my machine uh, which is a uh, black casing and then the red and the white LEDs feels really good uh, it's got a nice grip around the controls and you don't really need the rubber grips underneath although they would be nice they're not necessarily needed. Um, triggers are nice. You can actually have metallic ones as well, but as I was going for the white, the metallic ones don't quite come off as white, so uh, I just left them as they are because I was thinking of doing the bumpers and that red, like the stakes in the body, but I thought the white would split it up quite nicely. Um, but it feels really good. All the, all the button presses and clicks are you know, really nice. And as a comparison, let me just uh, finish better. I do have um, the one that came with my Xbox One. So I'll get that and we'll compare, compare them both together. So, as you see here, this is the uh, USNC one, which I got with the Halo 5 edition Xbox One. And my Xbox Lab design one. Both good quality, both to the same standards of build quality in my opinion. Um, I actually prefer the texture to my Design Labs one, just because that's all smoothed off and you know designed within an inch of his life for Halo 5. But uh, this one's got a slightly rough feel to it, and on the back as well, it's got a slightly rough feel for a bit of grip. So. I do like it, it feels really really good and I actually can't wait to get this attached to the PC and in use. 
So, um, as I say, I will be eventually getting it Wi-Fi'd. Um, but in comparison to the actual Halo controller, uh, it's really, really good. And I do really like it. The pricing isn't too bad on these. Um, usually they are around the 70 quid mark if you uh, don't get any etching or anything like that or if you get it on one of these offers you can get it for that with etchings. Etchings are 7 99 added. The rubber grips for the back are I think like 3 quid and if you get metallic that's like £2 I think for a metallic colour. Um, but I just went all normal colours with this and I really really like it. Feels great and uh, if you keep an eye out, I will be doing a review video after a wee while of using it. I'll be mainly using stuff like GTA and maybe some Star Citizen for videos and that, but uh, yeah, cracking little device guys. But yeah, great build quality guys, and uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, hopefully, there's not going to be many more reviews on this table. I'm trying to get one set up in my uh, PC room. So unboxings will be hopefully a little bit uh, better looking, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, if you want a custom controller, guys, highly recommend it. There are lots of colours you can pick from, and uh, lots of little little tweaks you can do in the colour schemes and stuff like that, which is really nice. And uh, you can really make your own controller, especially with the laser etching. I think that's a nice little touch. So if you're a YouTuber or anything like that, you can actually have one made and then give them away as prizes or something with either the person's name on it, username or anything like that, or your own to try and get your brand out there. But I really, really like it. I've wanted one since they came out in the States like over a year ago now. And it's only just got to the UK. Um, so I really like them, guys. Brilliant build quality. Quick delivery time after you've designed it and ordered it. So uh, yeah, recommend it, guys. And uh, thank you for watching. You know the score by now. Please give us a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, chuck them down below. And uh, please subscribe to my other social media outlets to keep up with news on gaming, peripherals, and uh, all that good jazz. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you later.